Every Pony. I hope you brought your thinking caps. Because today, your teacher and I are going to show you the next round of the Applewood Derby. But first of all, congratulations to everybody who participated in all the series of the Applewood Derby. And for this series, you guys completed the United States Showdown, the British Showdown, and now you guys are now moving on to the Italian Showdown. All right, everybody, you got to calm down. Because in the Italian Showdown, it's going to be a little bit complicated here in this series. Because the two tracks that I'm going to be showing you on screen are one of the most technical tracks in Italy. And those tracks are Mansa and Mugello. Now, unfortunately, I have to break the news to you guys. Mansa is the first track that we're supposed to race on in the Italian Showdown. According to your schedule grid, that will be the first track to race on, obviously. But here's the only problem. Italy, that part of Italy is going through a small storm and we cannot have you guys race on that track under that condition. In the more professional racing series, when it rains, you know, we just don't care. We just keep driving and hope for the best. But since you guys are quite young, we cannot have you guys race on wet conditions, especially when there's a small storm going through Monza. We cannot have you out there. So unfortunately, we have to move the schedule and have Mugello as our first track to race on. But don't worry, Monza will be ready for us to race on once the conditions are clear and once the track is well cleaned up and well maintained. As long as all of those are good, we'll be able to race on that track right after Mugello. Oh yeah, that is a lot of work. Now, I did tell you before that the Italian showdown is going to have some co really complicated tracks. Well, it's not that complicated, but you get what I mean. Mugello is going to be something that you really need to focus on. And I've actually raced on this track with Equestrian Motorsports during the 2019 season. And you got to understand, this track is a, is a force to be reckoned with. But don't worry, Miss Cheerley and I will do our very best to give you guys a decent lap around this track. Mm -hmm. You will start the race on the main straight, which is right here. Now, this is where you can actually show up some speed. Now, after that, you're gonna slow down, hit the brakes as hard as you can, and now you're gonna be entering into this first section of the track, which is right here. As I said, you really need to slow down on this first section of the track, because everybody gets really busy going fast, which is fine, there's nothing wrong about going fast, but when it's time to slow down, you really need to slow down, because otherwise you'll be ending up out of the track. So once again, after a blistering top speed run on that main straight, you gotta hit the brakes as hard as you can in order for you to not get off the track. As you can see from this layout, Mugello does have a lot of S turns after long straights. So you also gotta pay attention when the S's are gonna come, cause they'll trick you, such as this S turn that Miss Chili is pointing at. Mm -hmm. As you progress to the track, Miss Chili is pointing to the section of the track where it has a sweeping right turn, which becomes a decreasing radius turn. So when I mean by decreasing radius turn, the turn will start becoming a sweeping turn into a sharp turn. So you gotta ease off the throttle once you're going through that turn. And we move on to the final section of the track, which has a right hand sweeping hairpin, an S turn, and a left hand sweeping hairpin. And we return to the main straight, back to the starting line, and we complete a lap. Oh yeah, that is a lot of work. Yes indeed, Scootaloo, it takes a lot of work to master this track. It's in fact one of Italy's most technical tracks aside from Monza. The good news is Mugello will be open five days before the actual race begins for open track day for you guys to practice on. So you guys can get an idea on how the track works under what car you guys are driving. Aside from that, I can wrap this up. So once again, the track will be open five days before the actual race for you guys to practice on. So good luck, have fun, be careful, and we'll see you over there in Italy for open track day. Okay, Miss Shirley, you can take it from here. Just remember, every pony, your cart has to be able to finish the race if you want to win one of the awards. Fastest for winning the race, naturally. Most traditional for the best working replica of an original Applewood cart. And most creative for the cart with the best overall design. Oh, wee! Those ribbons are the bee's knees. <laughs> <laughs>